Hey, Dr. Amanda Lynn here. Wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about mold. Here in the Pacific Northwest, during these rainy days, are you feeling a little worse? Yes, I have myself. I'm uh, living in an old farmhouse and I had a leak in a hot water heater and it went God knows how long um, before I could get a new one and flip it out. And so it would leak all over the floor every time the dishwasher ran. So I stopped running the dishwasher and then it started with the washing machine, stopped that, showers. We couldn't keep up on it. It took a minute before I could afford a new one. And uh, in that time, there was definitely more damage. Not that this, this house isn't already on the list for getting burned, but this was just another thing. So I'm not going to go do all the remediation. I'm just looking for a new place to move, but uh, I have to wait for a couple of things to align there first. But it's just a lot nicer now that it's sunny out, so I'm not getting as bad as reactions, but I'm keeping up on everything I need to do. Um, and the main thing is supporting my immune system, not doing things to tear it down, and this amazing jumpstart kit from Cellcor. Holy cow. It comes with everything you need to do a little detox, and I'm going to really be recommending it. In fact, my new program that'll be launching here soon. I'm going to just require it. It's going to just come in with their, their fee, um, to get this started and going while we wait for their lab work to get back on the microbiome and, and their Dutch hormone. Holy cow though. I swear to you guys, it was like the second to maybe third dose of doing the humic and fulvic acid really a lot of charcoal, right? Um, supplements, some magnesium, uh, kidney liver, a biofilm breakdowner, like bam. And it did a great job. And it was hers, my Hertzheimer reactions going on where I didn't feel, you know, worse. Uh, kicking on, uh, like I said, extra immune support and my, um, probiotics being the spore base, but I'm going to add on a little extra bacillus as well and uh, run some microbiome testing on my youngest as soon as I can gather up poo because the amazing new U.S. biotech uh, lab. Woohoo! Uh, they'll do a basic stool collection sample test for $275, which is incredibly inexpensive for the almost 90 uh, markers we'll get. Pathogens mainly, parasites, bacteria, the good, the bad bacterias, uh, candidas, the molds that might be in your gut already growing. I mean, it's not gonna talk about mycotoxins and spores, um, but I do catch, uh, they do catch various molds. Um, it just comes with this little paper. I don't know how all you guys have been doing it, my great patients, but I have to do all kinds of things. And usually I do it. This one I haven't done yet. Charlie's like, not about it. He's all, what do I do with this paper, mom? You stick it on and it's got good stickies on the toilet seat, you know, underneath the ring. And, um go from there, he comes out as all, didn't work, mom. It just rolled off the back. And dang it, it did. We only got like half of one tube and you need two tubes in here um, done. And they give you a little spoon and some gloves and the collector thing, but it might be easier to just have them poop in a Tupperware plastic container, the yogurt container I'm gonna throw away afterwards anyway. Anyway, some tips possibly. But um, mold can be tested in quite a few ways, even if you're using your main insurance panel and can't afford extra 
um, because the mycotoxin urine one, the other one I'm trying to get him to do because that'll be a lot easier with the urine, but still haven't gotten that yet. Um, my kids know how to run from me with all these things. They are a little bit more expensive. I, it might be like $3.99. Anyway, mold is a problem. I'm seeing it more and more in my patients. I'm sad with the ones I've missed it on, like Dr. Jill Krista has said. And she is our expert here in the naturopathic world. DrKrista.com, C-R-I-S-T-A. And um, survivingtoxicmold.com has tons of resources on it from the good air purifiers that you need. You need to get one that can grab up less than 0.1 microns because that's really where the neurotoxic mycospores are at. And um, I know I was exposed to those because I was sneezing a lot when I'd go back to my bedroom past the laundry room where the hot water heater is. Um, and only 10% uh, of the air filters out there, purifiers actually do that. So really make sure and read that it's less than 0.1 microns that your air purifier is cleaning out. And that really makes a difference. And I turned on my ozonator as well. It's got the HIPAA filter to get down that low I hope I'm gonna double check mine again I thought it was good but I'm always learning to here some good brands were IQ Air and Telepure or Air Doctor and then there's some out there that are using a new technology HO technology it's not good you guys it's a hydroxyl free radical species and they are nasty 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 oxidizers speed up all kinds of you know disease and aging processes in you so stay clear of that new technology out there in um, air purification and the last thing i want to say about um, mold in your home like i can find it in my patients but a lot of times they won't even believe me so um the dusttest.com uh, you can go to drkrista.com, find all of her resources there, and go through her link, help her out. Um, but the dusttest.com has three options for um, testing in your house. If you don't do the neurotoxic mycotoxins, which are really small and hard to pick up, and it's a lot cheaper, uh, you at least just kind of get a basics, but there's like 36 uh, different molds that they'll test on that for about 275, I believe it was. And then it's an at home one, you just put it out, gather up your dust, it'll collect, right? You just leave it out and then mail that in. So if you live here in the Pacific Northwest, you have a tendency to have some neurological issues going on that you're not quite sure what's going what's happening i mean i was getting like numb tingliness up and down a leg the brain fatigue was so intense um the brain fog and fatigue like it was just i was working through mud during those rainy days and um i'm happy to be able to run off to this building i have today and because the electricity went out on the house, so I could come to the office and, um, and get some fresh air. But I'm feeling a lot better. Like I said, the big thing is trying to keep it out of the air. If I keep that air purifier going on, it's a lot better until I can get out of there. Otherwise, if it's your home, you have to look at remediation. If you're in a rental position, you have to kind of do a lot of fighting, which is really sad. I've got patients in, you know, slumlord situations, and it's really sad what apartments have done to just cover up and, and go over damages that upstairs neighbors did that's killing everybody down below. Um, and people aren't getting tested properly and they're just getting sicker and sicker. So if you've 
got something you can't figure out, uh, ask your doctor about working up some mold exposure. If you're not getting a lot of help, um, you know, our natural paths like Dr. Jill Krista is definitely an expert in the area. And I can definitely help you out as I've personally gone through it. Well, you guys take care. It's a little extra, you know, side note today for everybody because it just seems like us with chronic issues and diseases will be gluttons for all the other stuff too. All right, take care, much love.